हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स केस ऑफ मीडियल मेनिस्कस टेयर विच हैज़ गॉट अ बकेट हैंडल कॉम्पोनेंट अलोंग विद कॉम्प्लेक्स टेयर एंड रेडियल कॉम्पोनेंट एज वेल यू कैन सी दैट दिस टेयर इज़ अ वेरी बैड टेयर विच इज़ अ बकेट हैंडल सॉर्ट ऑफ टेयर विच इज़ लॉकिंग इन टू द ज्वाइंट एंड इट इज़ अ पोस्टीरियर कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्पोनेंट एज वेल so here we start with putting a traction stitch by in inside out technique so we'll be using the first stitch in an inside out fashion double can uh, two needles and we will be using this as a traction suture to reduce the bucket handle anterior component into its place so once this stitch is placed the medial meniscus is reduced nicely at its place at this point of the time we will be using the root fix anchor a root fix anchor is a wonderful device to close the radial component of this complex pattern of the tear and this you can see that this root fix anchor is going into its place so once the root fix anchor locks into its place so we put the root fix anchor right at the place where the radial component is there and then we will be passing serial passages we will pass two passages on the posterior part of the meniscus and then we will be passing two passages on the anterior parts of the parts of the meniscus and then we will be closing it in a side to side fashion so that the radial component of this complex variant of a bucket handle radial component complex is repaired so we this is the second suture the first blue suture and the second white suture on the anterior component and then we will be tying this side to side so this will be like a margin convergence we do in the cuff and this will lead to a good closure of the anterior and the posterior components of the cuff in a very nice fashion so first we'll tie the blue suture and after that we will be tying the white suture so once both of these sutures are tied the radial component and the complex component is addressed and then we need to reduce the other part that is the predominant component of the bucket handle tear and that we will be addressing by an inside out technique so this inside out technique is usually started from the upper layer so we'll be using uh, sequential sutures sequential inside out sutures we are using two sutures on the upper limb of the bucket handle component and then we'll be passing one more suture on the inferior component as well so this these are the two superior components of the bucket handle sutures that we are tying and then i am tying a one suture on the inferior aspect so this will take care of all the components of the displacement of this tear so once these all sutures are placed what we have done so far is we have reduced the radial component of this tear by using a root fix anchor which reduces it nicely after that we will be passing two side to side sutures to close the radial component further so besides the root fix anchor we are using two other sutures to close it this is also a inside out variant the advantage of rosy using root fix along with that is you root fix actually stabilizes the tear better and it usually reduces the posterior flap which usually flips up so the flipping up supi a uh, posterior flap can be reduced nicely with the root fix anchor and after that you can do side by side sutures with the inside out technique so these all sutures can be tied on the posterior part of the knee with a with a small incision protecting the saphenous nerve and thereby you can achieve a very nice repair of this medial meniscus tear using two techniques the inside out technique as well as the root fix technique so in this particular case we have used a single root fix anchor and we have used around uh, six uh, six all inside uh, inside out sutures so this leads to a very very nice closure you can see that in the end the meniscus tear is reduced very nicely from the posterior to the anterior aspect so you can see that even though the tear was bucket handle along with complex and radial component it can be reduced nicely if we follow the principle and use these innovative kind of techniques of and we can use two components two types of techniques together if you have uh, any questions you can definitely write to us on the comment box we'll be very very happy to answer you